the provisions of this bill. Five minute call starting with Nikki Kay. I'm very pleased to speak on the Wai Waitaki District Council Reserves and Other Land Empowering Bill. Can I start by acknowledging the local member of parliament for Waitaki, Jackie Dean? What we are seeing within this piece of legislation is the initiative of a local MP, and obviously this bill is um, the uh, local authority for Waitaki, but a local MP who has done her work, she's done her research, right. and she is doing what she thinks is best for the community. And what we are going to be talking about this evening is three pieces of land. And contrary to what the opposition have said, they have talked about um, uh, the transfer of assets is such a bad thing, but what we all know is that across local authorities, across New Zealand, every day, there are situations where assets are transferred between local authorities and public citizens, and this is not a scary thing that happens. This is actually something that happens every day. But in this situation, and this is why we are currently here before Parliament, we are dealing with three parcels of land. And I want to just take us through those three parcels of land first, um, because I think there are some unique situations around each of them. But the first thing I want to do is also acknowledge, again, that you've got a hard-working, diligent MP right. that has done her research, That's worked right. with the local authority, worked with Naitahu and Iwi, yep. and come up with a proposition that this can go to a select committee, people can have their verse, voice heard, but actually put on the parliamentary record what has happened with regard to these three pieces of land. Contrary to the opposition who say this is a very scary thing that is before parliament, members on this side believe actually this is a well-researched piece of legislation by a good local MP. So the first pass of land that we are dealing with is the, the, the local member is Jackie Dean, just so members and anyone listening can hear what a great local member of parliament she is. The first um, piece of land that we are talking about is the Palmerston Showgrounds uh, piece of land, and the sections will allow Waitaki District Council to sell the land to the current leases. The second is a piece of land called Lot 1. This will allow the Waitaki District Council to regularise the sale of the section to the current registered proprietors and allow title to their property to be unencumbered by any notation relating to the Reserves Act. Now, that does not sound scary to me. Not does at it all. sound scary to other members? Not at, all. Not, at not all. at all. And there are situations right across New Zealand that happen on a regular basis with local authorities where situations arrive where they transfer parcels of land. And for the record, let me just say that on this side of the House, we understand that actually sometimes to grow your assets and to improve your asset base, you might actually do transfers. It's a radical notion. It's a radical notion, but actually New Zealanders do it every single day in their households and with their businesses, and that is all that the Parliament That's is right. dealing with with That's this piece right. of uh, straightforward legislation. And I just want to, though, deal with the third piece of land, because this piece of land, and Mr Twyford has mentioned it, but also local MP for Waitaki, Jackie Dean, has also mentioned it, good member. is where good. there has been a fair amount of discussion yeah, in the public yes. domain. And this piece of land is, has been referred to as Forrester Heights, but is also known as Lookout Point. It is um, a, a lovely piece of land. I've never been there, but I have as a student um, when I was travelling to Dunedin. Uh, travelled through the beautiful town of Omaru, and I was delighted when I was doing my research this evening. Uh, I was not aware that you can catch a live show at an opera house um, and that you can spoil yourself with some lovely made soap um, and a cheese platter at the local cheese factory. So I just want to acknowledge that this evening. But with regard to this lookout point piece of land, what happened here? Was the origin, it was originally purchased by the government from Naitahu in 1948 as part of the Kemp purchase. And there was an administrative oversight in 1937 where mistakenly vested the land in the Waitaki District Council as a reserve. What actually happened here was the land was um, vested as a reserve, but what was meant to happen was that it was an endowment um, and it basically got reserve status and it was supposed to be reserved as an endowment. So we see this as actually a clerical um, issue. 
Um, however, we acknowledge that it's really important for people to have their voices heard. We, we do understand that this bill has come to the Parliament uh, because Waitaki District Council believe it's an important uh, piece of legislation to have in the Parliament because Naitahu have recognised um, that Order. they have confirmed that this view. Um, so I'm very pleased to be um, uh, supporting this bill mm. to select committee good into speech. the House. Good speech. Very good speech. Uh, Honourable David Parker. Uh, Mr Chairman, far from this uh, legislation being...